Thank you for your interest in safety pumping systems. I would like to introduce you to a pumping system that is revolutionizing the petroleum transportation industry. We have over 2,000 of these units on the West Coast running with a perfect safety record. The first thing I'd like to do is describe a little bit what we have here. The blue part is the actual pumping system. The top pipe and the bottom pipe are a closed loop manifold that we've designed just for this presentation. The white part in the motor is just an electric motor, again, just for this demonstration. Under normal circumstances, you would have a drive line connecting behind this guard to the PTO of the truck. The closed loop has some options to it. If, these, if this piping was gone, if it was a semi-application, you would have a square flange cam lock that would bolt right to the 12 o'clock position of the valve. If you're going to do a standard curbside delivery, you would have this manifold on the bottom, TTMA, eight bolt flange for bed sweater dry valves, standard cam lock applications. For the left to right side of operation, you have a square cam lock Victolic groove, you have a short one for a vein pump, you have a longer one for a gear pump application. And then we offer a standard manifold, it's like this, and it goes from the left to the right side of the truck, pressure tested and powder coated, uh, 54 inches long, and this makes it so that you can load off either side of the truck with a gear pump or a vein pump. We have the brackets and all related hardware. Under a normal application, the truck frame would bolt right here, the cab of the truck would be approximately right here, and the passenger door would be right here. We would open this door up, and your PTO control is here. We use a special Muncie CS series clutch shift PTO, and that makes it so you can engage and disengage the PTO without pushing the clutch in on the truck. So all of the operation this unit takes off on the curb side. The question is why the curb side? The curb side is where all the controls are to the tank. Your internal valves, your scully, your vapor vents, all the controls are here. The only time you go to the right side of that truck is if you had a street side unloading operation. But all the controls to the pump and the tank are all mounted on the curb side of the truck. So to begin a little bit about how the system works, if you're going to be unloading this unit, you would have the operator would put the pump into the neutral position. You've got cast in the front, load off, and load on. That is your fluid direction. You're going to load onto your tank and you're going to load off of your tank. Put it in the neutral position, verify all your connections are right, your vapor line is open, your skull is correct, your groundhog, everything is under standard tank operation. Put your valve in the neutral position, you would open the passenger door, I'm going to engage the electric motor, this is kind of rattly, so this one, uh, we're going to run it for a short period of time. You would engage the PTO. At that point, you notice nothing is going on, the fluid is stationary in the pipe, even though the pump's doing 240 gallons a minute. The operator would grab a hold of the handle, move it forward, one gallon a minute, two gallon a minute, three gallon a minute, up to 250 gallons a minute of unload. At any time during this operation, if it's put in a neutral position and stop the flow, pass it one gallon a minute, two gallon a minute, up to 250 gallon a minute, loading it here. You can transfer between loading and unloading it through barreling, a hose clean, any process takes. It all takes the motion of this handle. Stop that just for noise purposes. So when you've got this kind of control, if there's a closed valve, if a if an operator had a closed valve at the end of their hose, when they go to move this handle, the motor immediately loads up. The handle gets hard. So the operator knows without overpressurizing his hose, without running a slug of high pressure liquid down, down the hose, that there's a closed valve. They can tell by the resistance in the handle. If they're pumping 120 weight oil, 90 weight gear oil, crude oil during cold temperatures, as soon as they start to move the handle, if the product's too thick, the pump will begin to cavitate. They can feel in the handle and know to back back off. Greatly increases your pump life, greatly increases the uh, drive lines and the PTO life if the pumps are cavitated. So in this, you've got the ultimate in control during any pumping application. And ultimate fit up, anytime a mechanic goes to install it, it's the same operation. You jack up the pump system, Drill four bolt holes, install a PTO and a brake interlock, and you've got a pump system. This is the absolute perfect for all the petroleum transportation industry. We have two models of this unit available. 
Both the models at this time, the vein pump has a, a product called Zero Retain. And in this, in this design, before the driver hooks up any of the operator hooks up any of the hoses, all the systems closed, they can engage their PTO, build a small amount of pressure with the handle, and by opening this dead mount down at the bottom, you just place a small container here and you can open, you can pull the one quart of retain that's in this system by simply moving that bottom handle, thus purging it of all retained product. We call it zero retain. And in that, it gives you full clearance for ultra low sulfur diesel, aviation fuel, synthetics, all your mixes of tecrine, alcohol, this unit can be completely purged. No other pump system that's made has that capability. In a very short period of time, it'll be available on our gear pump line. and It'll also be available on our corrosive line. At this time, we have a three inch vein pump available for all of our refined products. It has gas, diesel, ad gas, uh, all your light oils, hydraulic oils, 90 weight gear oils. We have also a three inch gear pump available that specializes for crude, uh, used car, drain oil, any of the very, very thick greases, any of the thick products, we recommend you go with a gear pump. Uh, within 120 days, we'll say, mid-2006, we'll have a 4-inch gear pump available. That's for high-volume crude, up to 300 gallons a minute. And by the end of 2006 to 2007, we'll have a corrosive version using a 316 steel uh, pump and equivalent fittings. If you'd please browse our website, you can see all of our fittings, all the parts and pieces we have available. You can contact us directly. You can contact any of our distributors throughout the United States and Canada. Thank you.